Hello and welcome back to H2O to Grow's series on how to set up your hydroponic system. Today we're going to be working on how to set up your clay grow medium, your hydrocorn also known, and your rock well or grow cube, as well as your net pots and stakes if you have a top feed system. Uh, this one today we're working with is an 8 gallon top feed, so we will be using the stake. First thing first, please follow the directions on the clay medium. This stuff does have debris in it uh, just through the manufacturing process and as it rubs against itself it is going to create some debris. That's debris you want to keep out of your reservoir as it will cause high ppm levels which you're, you would rather fill up with nutrients than with the medium. So first thing first, take the clay medium, put it in a colander, sift it, get all of the water out of it, running under the water until you have all of the debris out of there. Preferably not in your sink as this stuff will probably tear up your garbage disposal. If you want to do it outside, that's fine. Hose it off until you have clear water coming out and there's nothing left in there. Once you have this cleared out, next thing you want to do is actually leave it setting in a bucket or a, um, a bin of some sort. They'll let it absorb as much water as possible. If you can do it 12 hours, great. 24, even better. That way this will be completely saturated with water and that's how you want to start. So once you have that, we're going to go ahead and set aside some we already have ready. From there, you're going to take your net cup, put in just enough of your clay pebbles, basically is one layer down on the bottom here. Next is, it, is your cube, set that in the middle, and if you want, dip it in there. Not real critical here, you just want to make sure that the rock wool is as far down as you can, with only maybe one level of hydrocorn underneath it. Now you're not going to fill this all the way up to the top the first time. Reason being is as the plant grows, you're going to fill in the rest of it to allow support for the stem. Start off right now, that's plenty, that's all you need right there. And then we're going to put our seed that we start. Set this aside. Now if you have a top feed system, you're going to need a stake. Easier to do it before you plug it in there. Stick it down in here. Try to find it. It will poke out the bottom. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. From there, we're going to install it into our reservoir. And as you can see, the lines are going to go where they want to go. So you need to position your net cups and your stakes to hold these drip lines exactly where you want them to be, which is going to always be in a position that will allow it to constantly feed water over the rock wall. simply clip into place and your drip line then feeds onto the rock ball allowing it to stay moist. Also circulating the nutrients over the plant allows it goes through through the reservoir. This also circulates the nutrients through the reservoir so you have a, a nice balanced mix going across the plant. That's it. Do this for the other five remaining ones and you're ready to go.